Hi, this is Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. Thanks for having me here on Talk Norwich City. I promise you, at the moment, I come in peace. On Sunday, we come to take three points. But anyway, listen, uh, Jack Reeve asked me to rate Norwich City's players. The, the players that played in the last game, he, he, he told me who they were and he said, Robbie, I want you to give them a rating out of 10. We've also asked him to do the same. So make sure you check out uh, the video on our channel as well, where Jack has rated his uh, um, 11 Arsenal players. But let me rate the 11 Norwich, right? Let's kick off with John Ruddy. Now, in, in goal, John Ruddy, I think you've got a very good keeper. This guy, he's quality. I, I, I really, really rate him. Uh, of course, uh, he was linked heavily with a move to Chelsea. He's played for England. And I, I think he's a quality goalkeeper. He's solid. He's one of these guys that probably is under the radar because um, he's playing for Norwich. If he was probably playing at... Um, I don't know, a, a bigger club like a, a, an Arsenal or somebody like that. He'd probably be a more of a regular in the England squad. So for John Ruddy, I'm going to give Ruddy an 8 out of 10. I actually think he's a very, very good keeper. Moving on now into your defence, we get to Andre Wisden. Of course, he was at uh, Liverpool. And I thought, you know, when he was at Liverpool, he looked a really, really good player, really, really good prospect. Really surprised when they sent him out on loan, um, considering... Uh, their defence has been really, really dodgy. Um, I haven't seen a lot of what he's done at Norwich, but from what I heard, he's been pretty solid. I think he's a decent player. He's still a player in the making, so I'm going to give uh, Andre Wisden a 6 out of 10. Uh, moving on to Ryan Bennett. Uh, Bennett's sort of come in uh, recently uh, for Norwich City. He looks a decent player again. You know, Again, as I said, the same thing like with Wisden. He's sort of a, a, a player in making. So, not bad. Uh, again, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. I haven't seen enough of him, to be honest, to give him a higher rating. But from what I've heard, the reports are that he's a very, very decent defender. Sebastian Bassong, who used to play for Spurs. All right. He asked me to rate him. He's all right. He weren't very good at Spurs. <laughs> and he ain't been that much better at Norwich. And because he played for Spurs, I'm going to give him a 2 out of 10. <laughs> Sorry to repeat that. But... Martin Olsen. Now, you know what? Olsen, I, used to, uh, I remember when he was at Blackburn. He's a good player, he was. And uh, even at Norwich, you know I mean? He's a decent player, gets something down the pitch. Uh, international. I saw him playing the other day for Norway as well. Decent player. He's, he is a decent player. Starting to knock on a bit, I suppose. But decent player. I'm going to give Olsen a uh, 6.5 out of 10. He's a good player. In midfield, Robbie Brady for Norwich. Now, again, you know, decent enough player. I know I'm saying this a lot, decent, because I have to be honest, he's decent. I wouldn't say he's an exceptional player, but a decent Premier League player, I'm going to give him 6 out of 10. Defensive midfielder, Malumbu, he's a lump. He's a, he's a unit, you know, he... he he does a job. I remember when he was at West Brom, really physical player. Not as good, though, on the ground when it comes to, like, you know, passing the ball. It's all right breaking it up, but you've got to be able to pass the ball, a bit of skill, composure under pressure, which he doesn't really have a lot of. But for his physical presence in certain games, he can be good. He'll be important for you guys as well uh, when you play us. I'm going to give him 6 out of 10. Uh, we move on to Johnny Housen. Again, Decent. <laughs> I know I'm using that word a lot. Decent Premier League player, Johnny Housen. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's okay. And I mean, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Uh, box to box, a lot of energy. 6 out of 10 for Housen. Nathan Redman. Now, this is a player. I've been really impressed with this guy. Uh, he's your top scorer. Real prospect. I think for Norwich to you know, start progressing as a team. They need to be holding on to players like this. And to be fair, they have done so far because I know that a lot of other Premier League clubs have come sniffing. Really, really talented player. What he needs to do is work on, you know, being consistent, doing it week in, week out. That's what makes you a really top player. But he's got all the tools. And if he can do it consistently, then he can start knocking on the door for England. Um, I'm going to give uh, Redmond a 7 out of 10. Really respect the player. Really, really good player. Then we move to Wes Houlihan. Now, Wes Houlihan, he's not bad. Not bad. Quite a lot of assists. He's like uh, the poor man's version of Mesut Ozil, you could say. <laughs> um, nah, listen, I'm not taking the mick or nothing. Wes Houlihan's a, a decent player. Uh, good at assists. 
good all-round professional. Uh, definitely one of the players that Arsenal are going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, I'm going to also give him a 7 out of 10. And finally, we're going to end up with Ember Carney. Ember Carney, who started ahead of Cameron Jerome. I was surprised that uh, um, he's been starting ahead of Jerome. But, uh, you know, he's, he's Congolese international. He's looked decent in, in the games that I've seen. Uh, quick, physical, and he's banged in a couple of goals for Norwich. And um, the fact that he's keeping Jerome an established player um, out of the team means that he must be pretty decent. I can't give him more than a six because I haven't seen enough of him. But so far, he looks to be making a decent impact in the team. So I'm going to give Umbakani a six out of ten. So there you have it, Norwich fans. Uh, there's the ratings. Uh, the weak link in your team is Bassong, that former Tottenham player. It has nothing to do with the fact that he's former top. Well, actually, it might do. <laughs> Those are my player ratings. Uh, make sure you get over to Arsenal Fan TV where you can see how Jack Reeve rated the Arsenal players. I don't think Norwich should be scared of Arsenal. And the reason why is because we've already come up against Chelsea, Manchester City, Liverpool, and we haven't really struggled against any of them teams. And Arsenal, yes, they have fantastic players, but we're going out there with a game plan. We're going out